Andrew Scrivani, and I'm a food photographer and a director. The most important thing I think when it comes to food photography, and my particular food photography, is this connection that people have to the way it makes them feel. I think if it's emotional and they, it touches them in a way, it makes them, from something as basic as how it makes you feel hungry, to something that triggers memories, to things that make you feel um, happy or even nostalgic. I think all of that is the goal I have in mind when I'm taking a picture, is that I want to connect people to their feelings. A good portion of people I've encountered when I, when, as an instructor, or even in just you know, interacting on social media, I find that people are looking to reinvent themselves and food is a really natural extension of who they are. I grew up with food in my house and in my household I learned how to make food. It was the way we communicated to one another and I think when I had to reinvent myself I felt that draw to food and it was something very natural and comfortable for me to do. And then I found that I was pretty good at taking pictures of it. I didn't come from a tradition in food photography, so I was sort of making it up as I went along in a lot of ways. I wasn't really researching a lot of food photographers in the beginning of my career, but I was inspired by museum work, painting, and particularly architecture, which I think is the thing that's the most surprising for people, is that I'm really inspired by architecture and I find that shapes and color that are used in architecture translate into my work in a lot of ways. I, I like to use shape um, as a technique and as a, as a, a tool. And I think it's, it's a fun way to look at it from an artistic perspective and forget about the fact that it's food on the plate and think about it as a piece of art and think about it how, how you want to portray it as a piece of art. I fell in love with the, the look of the Dutch painters and that kind of side lit rich color against black. I find it really romantic and emotional, and I think that it's something that is how I've been able to kind of transmit my feelings towards food. Backlighting and side lighting are definitely the two main techniques that I use to, to get that feeling across in my work. I found that when I was trying to craft a style, there were a lot of clunkers in there and things where I wasn't lighting things properly, I wasn't exposing things properly. Also in post-production you, you, you make lots of mistakes when you're first starting and I think without the mistakes you don't grow. So I think when I, when I talk to classes of, of people learning or, or I consult with a, a younger photographer or I talk to my assistants, it's always about learn from the mistakes, build off the mistakes because if you don't make them then you don't know. And I think lighting technique was definitely the thing that was the hardest to learn and it was the hardest to master. And once you've got a style and a technique that you're really comfortable with, then you start to see that you make less mistakes. You start to be more consistent. And I think ultimately being a professional in a visual uh, art form is about consistency. You have to be able to do it on command. As far as my food photography, where it's going, I always want to try to reinvent myself a little bit. Um, I think what it's morphed into is my career as a director, and that's right at the beginning of that part of my life, and that I want to use what I've learned as a photographer, and the techniques, and the style, and all that, and translate it to motion. And so far I've been pretty successful at it, but there's still a learning curve. And now, of course, I have a team of people that I work with, and not, I don't always get in the kitchen, but there are times when I get an opportunity to. And then I cook at home, and it's something that means a lot to me. I participate on social media a lot, and a lot of the people I participate with on social media are food people. The world of food and the world of photography you know, intersect in my life, but it turns out I always end up gravitating towards the food. Food photography is a passion for me because I'm passionate about food.